tell me about your vision. Oh, uh, well, um, I guess on, on a sort of um, large scale and backstory a little bit, um, mm -hmm. relationships and love, whether it's with my kids, my parents, my partner, whatever, has always been super important to me. And um, I am a chef by trade. I went to school at Le Cordon Bleu in Paris and, you know, everything was food for me for so many years. Then after the whole COVID thing, I got into um, relationship coaching. And just a few months ago, I decided to pivot everything and throw it all to the wind and combine the two of them. So my vision really is that I want to bring people together um, with the love language of food. And specifically, I like working with couples to help them increase their connection and just find the time for each other and create a date night that's super easy that you can have fun and enjoy yourself without even having to leave home. Yeah. What's your goal with your vision? Where are you trying to get to? Is there a dream of what you're trying to do with it? Or what's what's your plan behind it? Um. I think I, I just want to um, create awareness and I want to become sort of the go-to person to create something beautiful with your partner. Um, I'm also at the same time, I'm working on doing retreats like weekend couples retreats in France and a farmhouse and, you know, doing some couples workshops, but still doing cooking classes and traveling around. So I want that to become part of it but I want it to be super easy for people to access and find out how they can do this date night and have a little help connecting with their partner. And I just want to, I guess I want to reach more people. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. How do you say leaders lean into funding their vision? I think when you get a real visionary and an industry leader, they lean into it by, um, almost selling their sell, selling themselves first, selling their vision to other people to get help so that they can reach more people with their vision and expand their vision even further. Because I think that um, it's it really takes a, a leader and a visionary to realize that sometimes you do need help and you do need something to push yourself up to that next level where you can reach more people and the more people you can reach, the more people you can serve. And it just becomes sort of an important factor. Thank you for being here today. I'm really happy that you tuned in to Vision Pros Live. I'm looking forward to seeing your reactions as these episodes continue to move forward. This is going to get more and more fun. We'll have more and more engagement as well. We'll invite people to participate in the show. And thank you for giving us your time and attention. Have an excellent time building out your vision and becoming a Vision Pro yourself.